Hello and welcome back to the channel and another vlog from our stay here at Hoburn Bashley. Joe and the girls are here. So yeah, if you are new, I'm Ryan. And I'm Joe. Eating a cookie. This is Daphne. And this is Peg. Both of which want a cookie. Which they're not having. <laughs> um, today... We are checking out the site here at Hoburn. Um, and when we arrived, we got given the welcome pack. Um, as part of the welcome pack, we were given like a little booklet on some of the kind of nature trails and dog walks that they have on the site. So we thought, oh, that'd be quite cool to check out. So we are going to do one of them today. So here is a little map of the site and the different trails that you can do. So to give you an idea of where we are, we are here. Here is the exercise area that we saw in the last vlog. And there are like a nature trail that kind of goes all the way around. Now you can go up into this area, but part of this is blocked off because you've got a kind of pre-book to do like a kind of excursion for that trail. But then you have here, which is like a fairy tale, which is this one, the fairy tale trail. And there's like picnic areas and stuff around there. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna take the little doggies for a, a walk. They heard me say it. You wanna go for a walk? Wanna go for a walk? always? Wanna lead? <laughs> oh, 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 they're getting Whoa. excited. Oh. This Not one's just waiting. Because we've said the word. We've said the word woggies. You want to go for the walk? Yeah? You want to go for a walk? You, you, oh, you, you want to go for a walk as well? Yeah? You want you want to go for the walk? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Where's your lead? Go put it on then. Go, go, go get your lead. We'll get them. Get your lead. Nah. Right, let's go for a walk. The doggy's leading the way. Come on. Yeah, so this is the Hoburn shop. shop. That's what I went in yesterday? yesterday. It's quite a nice little shop. We've made it to the start of the trail. The pug's leading the way. Oh. Ooh. It is like, the, bars, it? like down the woods. Oh, you've got a scent. Come on. They do love to sniff. They're very, very sniffy. Sniffy, sniff, sniff, sniff. Likes to explore. Come on. Come on. Okay. So that's the golf course. No doggies on there. Hedgerow Highways, butterflies, hedgehogs, wrens, bowls. bowls. Hedgerows are nature's motorways. They're the means by which wildlife in all its biodiversity moves through the land. Hello, little robin. Hello, you. Get close to it, let me go. Too close. Hello, little Robin. Hi. Off he goes. Found another part of the path of the trail. Oh, stingers and Joe's wearing shorts. I'm good. I got my jeans on. Nice little seating area. You want to have a sit down? Got the stream. They're pretty. Right, before I lose them, Joe tells me off for making him wait. There he is. Oh, I think this is like the extra bit that you have to pre book. Because it's like a restricted bit, and then you can go off and do other little activities. Yeah. 
how they used to live. Yeah, so we've made it out of that part. Yeah, welcome to the woodland. So yeah, so that way took us back up to where the shop is. No idea where that goes. But we are welcome to the woodland walk. Ancient semi-natural woodland. Oh, it's the fairy one. Little fairy houses. This is um, the fairy's welcome. <laughs> it's a insect house. Oh, that's cool. Snug as a bug. Please do not disturb the wood piles. They are nature's homes. The Dave Suite. Wow. That's cool. Please stick to the path like spiders on a web. You may squash rare wildflowers, so be careful where you tread. If, if, if you find the fairies, then you can have a treat. Okay? So we found something. Is that like a bee? Number one. Yeah. Are you getting you sniffing for the fairies, girls? Are you sniffing? <laughs> fairies sniffer. You fairies sniffing. Come on. Come on. There's another one. Little fairy house door. That's cool, they've put like a door handle into the tree. <laughs> and then like trimmed it so it looks like. Oh, you fit in there, girls. Yeah. A few more. This goes up and up and up. So we've done halfway through fairy walk but we don't want to kill off the pugs because they're pugs they're not very them. so we're going to save the second half of the fairy trail for another day because these girls just want their beds I think but we found a little exit as well so we've managed to sneak out so if we follow it around here Yeah. Very nice. No kites. High voltage. There's a bee. We found a bee and we weren't even on the trail. It's pretty though. Yeah. Daph knows where she's going. You just missed the pigeons, Daph. There we are. That was just back there. Oh, nice little breeze. Episode 31A. Humble side. And a little creek for the dogs so they can still have a little bit of grass. This way, girls. Run this way. In you go. Good girls. Come on. There you go. Now you'll sleep for the rest of the day. Just like that. We are back. Whew, it gets warm now, though. Come over. Right. We're gonna unleash the dogs. <laughs> Take our jackets off. I'm feeling a bit peckish. I think it's time for something to 
I think it's time for something to eat. Oh, yes. look at the girls having a little drink. You have a little drinkies? Good girl. Come here, have a drink. Have a drink. Good girls. So, it's time. Um, it's time to get building because I'm craving a little bit of a uh, little bit of Lego. So. I'm going to make a start on this. Probably will only take me about 15 minutes. And then I'll be gutted that I've built it. But then I'll also be happy that i built it. Because I love Lego. Uh, but yeah, I've made my own little setup just here. The sun was out. So I'm going to sit there. Build this. And then I will show you what it looks like after. Because I think it's, it's probably not worth the money. But it's cute, and it's Disney, and it's got a little Mickey. So, change of plans. Way too cold outside. It's great over. Sun's gone in. It's cold. And it's, there's a bit of a breeze, and it's a bit chilly. So, I did open it. I did start, well, I went to start. I sat down and I was like, nah, it's too cold. It's too fresh. I need to be comfortable whilst I get older, look. Something like that. So yeah, gonna crack on. Get it done. And I might have the same sort of setup as we've got at home, where I put my little Disney castle just next to the TV. Yay! <laughs> Open bag free, as you probably might have just seen. Um, about halfway there. Uh, literally just put like two, two pieces on. But yeah, we're there. We it's just like a little base. A little, little entrance. Um, yeah, it's kind of cute. Um, only two more bags left. So that's bag number three. Just open it up on the table. Um, that's bag number four over there. Oh, I've still got another bag. Number three to go, but it's going to look a little bit like that when it's done. Yeah, cool. Right, there's Ryan. He's just tired of there, I think. Dogs. The dogs are there. They're asleep. Are they asleep? What is it? Huh? They're. Very tired now. After that walk, I think we've like knocked them out, haven't we? They needed it. They needed a nice long walk. Um, yeah, so let's crack on. finished building my castle um it's cute i love it but it's disney and it's lego so of course i'm gonna love it i'll show you it two seconds there it is it's quite small i mean like this like that's that's a lego figure that's the actual size of it what do you think dav can you choose it no, you can't eat it. Oh, I do make it yeah. Yeah, do you want a, you want a little snack on Mickey? No. 
yeah, we put the fire, well, we put the light on the fire. The fire's not actually on, only because it makes it feel more homely. But yeah, it, it, it's cute. It didn't take too long. It took about an hour. There's a lot of fiddly bits, a lot of like tiny little detail and stuff like that. I still think the full skirt, the full, like the big, the big, the big one that I've got is better. But yeah. Yeah. So it did, it did rain earlier. Still a few specks of water about. But you might be able to pick up that. There's some crumbs on the table. Because we were being a bit weird. We were, we were being one with nature. <laughs> And we're all, about nature. we're all about nature and wildlife and stuff like that. Um, we put some McVitie's hobnobs, not the chocolate ones, just the plain hobnob, out on the table. And lo and behold, some little robins, and I think they were sparrows. I'm not sure. Oh, I I'm pretty sure they are. Birds. They are sparrows. I don't know birds, yeah, uh, but yeah, a little robin, a sparrow. Um, and I didn't get it on camera, but a little blackbird also popped up as well. Um, dogs went wild. But, yeah, I put some footage in. Ryan will put some footage in. He, he, he needs how to do all that. But, yeah, he'll put the footage in of the birds now. <laughs> cool um i mean it's as close as i'm probably ever gonna get to wildlife and stuff like that so richard attenborough yeah that's double mitehood that's my little david attenborough david attenborough well, I, I, I he's richard he's the actor isn't he? richard. santa yeah from miracle and 44 yeah david attenborough. yeah david attenborough is the nature dude yeah yes so yeah um what are we doing now i think that's gonna be it for the evening so we will see you next time in the next one for another whole vlog yeah of our stay here in Hoburn mm -hmm. so that's it that's adios for me cheerio bye, bye.